This brief video describes the steps for performing an accuracy check on the AlkaSensor 3 breath alcohol instrument using a dry gas standard. To perform an accuracy check, you will need the following materials. Your AlkaSensor 3 device and a new mouthpiece. You will need an alcohol gas standard. We will be using a dry gas standard with an ethanol content of 0.038 BRAC at sea level. The dry gas standard concentration can be located on the gas tank label. You will also need a tank regulator to attach to your dry gas tank. It is a good idea to keep a logbook of accuracy checks and calibrations performed on your device. You can purchase an accuracy check calibration logbook at alcopro.com. An accuracy check is a test of your instrument's ability to read a known alcohol standard within a given tolerance level. A best practice is to perform accuracy checks once a month to document that your instrument is continuing to give accurate results. The result of your accuracy checks should not differ by more than plus or minus .005 from the expected value of the standard gas sample. The expected or target value of your gas standard can be derived by referencing the altitude chart on the back of your tank. For example, if you are performing an accuracy check in Knoxville, Tennessee, which has an altitude of 886 feet above sea level, the altitude chart shows the expected value of the alcohol gas tank to be 0 .037. You can also derive the expected value by using a TrueCal device, which uses atmospheric pressure to predict the expected value of the gas. You can purchase a TrueCal device at alcopro.com. Now that you know your expected gas value, you can proceed with the accuracy check. First, attach the regulator to the dry gas tank. For safety purposes, point the regulator end of the canister away from your body and away from others. Twist the regulator securely in place, making sure you don't over tighten. You may hear a pop or hiss sound as you tighten the regulator. This is normal. Before performing the accuracy check, it is important to purge the regulator. This is done by pressing and holding the button or valve on the regulator for three to four seconds. Purging the regulator releases any dead gas that may be present in the regulator and generates fresh gas for the purpose of your accuracy check. Next, attach the AlkaSensor 3 mouthpiece to the regulator tube. Check the temperature of the instrument by simultaneously pressing both the read and set buttons. The temperature should read between 15 and 36 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to perform an air blank on the device. An air blank is a procedure that checks the device for any residual alcohol that may remain from a previous test. To perform an air blank, press the read button only, allowing the set button to pop up, which draws ambient air into the device. Observe the .000 reading both in dim display mode and then in bright display mode before continuing with the accuracy check. If .000 is not seen in the bright display mode, depress the set button and repeat the air blank steps in one minute. Next, press the set button and carefully attach the Alka sensor to the mouthpiece on the regulator. Next, press and hold the regulator button and count to seven. When you reach the count of six, press the read button. On the count of seven, release the regulator button. Gas must be flowing through the mouthpiece when the read button is depressed. Remove the AlkaSensor 3 and mouthpiece from the regulator. Observe the reading until it becomes stable and bright. Remember, the results of your accuracy check must be within plus or minus .005 of the expected known value. From our earlier example of an expected value of .037, any result from .032 to .042 is acceptable. Now record the accuracy check result in your logbook. When the device flashes set, press the set button. 
This ensures the fuel cell sampling chamber is in a closed position and the device is ready for the next test. If the result of your accuracy check falls outside of the acceptable tolerance range, you must take the instrument out of service and perform a calibration adjustment to bring the instrument back into an acceptable tolerance range. You can view our Alka Sensor 3 calibration adjustment video for step-by-step -step instructions. If you need technical support or repairs on your Alka Sensor breath alcohol instrument, contact one of our factory trained technicians at 1-800-227-9890 or through live chat at alcopro.com.